If you're running into the error, there was a problem opening the plugin for an unknown reason when trying to use Waves plugins in FL Studio, don't worry. This issue can be resolved by following a few simple steps. Start by opening FL Studio and navigating to the top menu bar. Click on Add and then choose More Plugins from the drop down. A window will appear showing all the plugins installed in FL Studio. Use the search bar to look for any Waves plugin you've installed. And as you can see, when I try to open the plugin, I get the error message. Click OK to close it and let's move on to the fix. Now, go back to the Add menu and click on More Plugins again. This time, look for the Manage Plugins button, which you'll find next to the search bar. Clicking on this will open the Plugin Manager. Now, in the Find section at the top, type in Waveshell. This will display all the different versions of the Waves plugins installed on your system. To make them easier to access in the future, click the star icon next to the version labeled VST 3x64. This will add it to your favorites in the Add menu. Now, select that version and drag it into the mixer. What you've loaded here is called the Waveshell plugin, which acts as a container for all your Waves plugins. To use a specific Waves plugin, open the Waveshell interface. Inside, you'll find a drop down menu listing all your Waves plugins. Select the one you want to use, and it should load without any errors. Now, you should be able to use your Waves plugins smoothly within FL Studio. Keeping your plugins organized and updated can prevent similar issues down the line.